morning. It is 4.30 a.m. I'm a whistleblower on the courts. And I started my whistleblowing in 1986. I gave a complete, complete breakdown of the criminal enterprise of the Democratic Party to Congressman Cummings on August the 13th, 2019, before he died. Christopher Irving was in the room. Nicole Mundo and Mr. Perkins was in the room. And his left-hand man was there. They didn't allow me to take pictures because if I took pictures, I'd have been putting this shit all over Facebook. <laughs> this is the Public Justice Center. All right. See that? Return the sender. Unclaimed. They build forward. It's the Public Justice Center. <laughs> Rodney Hayes worked for the Public Justice Center and they filed a class action lawsuit. So the public justice center could file a suit too. You know what I'm saying? The public justice center had all this information I'm getting ready to show you. The public justice center got it. You feel me? This is the minority report. All right. This was my application for Martin Luther King's job. That's what y'all locked me up for because I applied for Martin Luther King's job. Y'all don't want one black man to have that much power. Because I was talking about having, what, boycotting. Yeah, I was talking about not going to the hotels downtown. I was talking about shutting y'all down. I don't need a million people to march. I need a million people to pay attention. I need a million people to pay attention. Because I applied for his job, and that's the only thing I did wrong. This is the minority report. All right? And I use outhouses because I'm going to out y'all. It's going to take about 20 minutes. That's the solicitor. Misconduct. All right. Police came in my house in 2010 and put guns in my head and threatened me about Governor O'Malley. That's Governor O'Malley. That's my store on Falls Road. I am writing you this letter. I need your help to clear my name from criminal charges. You feel me? Governor O'Malley had this long before I got locked up. Y'all locked me up and charged me with terrorism. I put that toilet in front of the Towson Courthouse because it exposed the corruption in your courts. It exposed the racism in your courts, in your prison industry, and the money you make off your prison industry. That's the controller. Y'all reading that? See the email? Federal audit. I want a federal audit and I want criminal charges against uh, Jake Davis, Brian, uh, Deron Battle, Dwayne Gerald Davis Jr., Michael Coons, and whoever was working at that store while I was locked up. That's theft, income tax evasion, fraud, identity fraud, forgery, unlawful enrichment, vulnerable individual law, because I was locked up. I was making a movie about the Baltimore County Courts, Baltimore City Courts, and ain't no law against making a movie. It is a law against kidnapping, and y'all kidnapped me. You kidnapped me in Illinois and you kidnapped me in Maryland because I was making a documentary about y'all. You feel me? I got everything of mine timed and dated. This is Michael Nearham. You feel me? See who got it? President Obama got it, Loretta Lynn got it, Judge Bridges, the Waukegan Sun, the Baltimore Sun, the Chicago Tribune. You feel me? I am Dred Scott. I asked for a change of venue because y'all wouldn't let me out of jail. Y'all's going to hold me in Illinois for like ever, three years. Y'all's going to hold me without a trial. That's kidnapping. That's fraud. That's abusing the powers. That's like the Bible story of Joseph in the coat of many colors when you threw Joseph in the well. You threw Shorty in jail. 
I was making a movie about y'all. That's the state's attorney and that's the public defender. Karen Levy and John Bailey. That's the case number. And that's Governor Hogan. You feel me? That's Governor Hogan. Like I said, I'm making a movie about y'all. I'm making a movie about your courts. And that's Judge Turnbull. See that? 1402 Lockner, you kidnapped me. This was in 2009. You feel me? Schellenberger. Chief Johnson. All right. Schellenberger knowingly permitted titles and crimes. Schellenberger did this. And this who know about it. Governor O'Malley, director of the ACLU. You feel me? Congressman Cummings knew about this since 2007. And y'all want to hail Congressman Cummings for be this constitutional individual. <laughs> Congressman Cummings ain't nothing but a black sellout in the black community. He been selling out the black community forever. When the Dawson family died, they put in for the witness protection program. They asked Congressman Cummings to help them before they got murdered. And the Dawson family got murdered and he held them up for his, his own enrichment. The death of a black family to uprise him in his political career. He ain't gonna rise in my political career. Y'all had two, three days of mourning. Dog, I'm going to make this movie and tell you all about Congressman Cummings and his staff. And his staff. Don't destroy this evidence because I want it all to go to President Trump. Fair exchange. You don't know stick up without a gun. Same thing make you laugh, I'm going to make you cry. That's Judge Bridges. All right. That's Judge Bridges. You reading this? 1402 Lochner, I am Dred Scott for the third time. You feel me? I respect the request in three days in Washington, D.C. You feel me? In those three days in Washington, D.C., I went to Congressman Cummings' office. You feel me? I went to Sarbanes' office. I went to Mikulski's office. That's Blagojevich. If Blagojevich can go to jail, so can Governor O'Malley and his 52 politicians. So can T.J. Smith. So can Brandon Scott. So can Tony Bridges. Everybody that was participating in it, I got your names and I got your numbers. And I got the emails. Honorable Chief Justice Starks, I respectfully asking. You feel me? City, county, state, federal levels. Four times 13 is 52. All right. I went to 26 officials in Illinois and 26 officials in Maryland. That's 52 officials. And this was one of the officials. See that? You see that? You see that? NAACP, United States Attorney General John Sutton, and FBI. And the FBI. So y'all had all this. This is the case right here. This case right here. It's about the war on drugs and ending the war on drugs. You want to stop the violence? You want to have a ceasefire? You have to address the war on drugs. Because I did. Waller got it. See it? This is legal written notice my intent to bring Judge Boris in front of the Ninth Judicial Court for theft. Judge Boris was the state's attorney back in 1986, and he was the state's attorney prosecuting me. Judge Boris took $15,000 cash. He robbed a nonprofit. Judge Boris enriched himself. 
He shared it with Judge Scott Scarin and he shared it with the other corrupt individuals in Baltimore and Lake County, Illinois. Right here. You see who had it? Lake County Board, Felicia Wider, FBI, and Wayne Kim at the Department of Justice. I keep good records. I keep real records. That's Governor Blagojevich. If Blagojevich can go to jail, if Blagojevich can go to jail, so can Governor O'Malley. If Jesse Jackson Jr. went to jail behind Governor Blagojevich, so can those other officials. So can Councilman. So can Councilman Scott. So can Bridges. A lot of y'all can go to jail. Like I said, I got documents. That's my request for the grand jury. That's my request for the grand jury. And that's legal paperwork. You feel me? Senate Bill 374, the citizen's right to access the grand jury. I'm a whistleblower on the courts. I'm a whistleblower. See that? Whistleblower. And this is where it all started, right here. This is where Judge Bohr stole that $15,000. Cause see, I was found innocent of all charges. So you supposed to return my property. You supposed to return my property. I was found innocent of all charges. So you were supposed to return my property and you refused to do it. But y'all thought I was a little dumb black boy. No, this little dumb black boy went to the Department of Justice and went to the FBI. You feel me? I went to the FBI in 1986. Look at all the charges I received from January and March. I was given three years, April of 86. You feel me? I got it all documented. I got it all documented. This is Mayor Moxley. Nineteen eighty six, I shot up downtown Waukegan, case number. WJZ, Commissioner Davis. I want it all documented. Contact Mayor Stephanie Rollins Bate. Yeah. Like I said, this is all documented. Falls Road for contacting your office. That's Governor Blagojevich. See the date? 2007. 2007. Long before I got locked up. Long before I got locked up. I told y'all I was making a movie about y'all. That's the Attorney Registry Disciplinary Committee. Because while I was in jail, I did my paperwork. You feel me? Justice Department. Patrick Fitzgerald, $250,000. Waller, Ken LaRue, all right, obstructing justice. See that? 2012, Mr. Davis. Subpoena. See, I subpoenaed the media because I gave the media all this information. I gave Christian Schaefer. I gave uh, Stephen Janis, I gave Mark Marion, I gave Jane Miller, I gave Mike Shue, I gave Richard Scher, I gave Dakari Turner, I gave the media all this information and the media didn't do nothing. They permitted Scott Schellenberger to charge me with terrorism. They permitted Scott Schellenberger to run me through the ringer. They permitted Scott Schellenberger to do all this, but the media knew about this from the beginning. The shielding law don't apply to that apply to you. When you knowingly participated in fraud, when you knowingly misinformed the public, that means that you were a part of the corruption and the crimes. That means that when I file a lawsuit, I can sue the media. I can 
sue Jane Miller. I can sue whoever had a part of this. When I see the media in public, that's why I shut y'all down. And if you got a problem with me shutting you down, call the police. Charge me with something. Because I'm getting ready to go after your FCC licenses. I'm getting ready to go after your retirement funds. I'm getting ready to make you homeless like you made me homeless. It's going to be a fair exchange. We're going to trade places. That's Adam May. Adam May ain't here no more. I dogged his motherfucking ass out so much he moved to fucking Minnesota. Adam May couldn't do a live feed in Baltimore nowhere. Anywhere I called Adam May, I shut that shit down. Call the police, anything. I don't give a fuck. These are your lawyers. You feel me? These are your lawyers. Y'all use your lawyers all you want. I can't get a lawyer to defend me, but y'all get a lawyer real quick to squash my shit. You won't get a lawyer to defend me because if he defends me, that means that you're going to take this fraud to court and that means that you're going to get my money. You ain't got to take me to court. I'm going to sell this shit to Russia. I'm going to sell it to Korea. I'm going to sell it to China. I'm going to sell it to whoever don't like America because America don't like blacks. And black people need help. So the enemy of my enemy going to be my friend. If President Trump don't do nothing about this Democratic Party and the corruption, and like I said, I'm selling this to China or Russia. This is your judicial board, inquiry board. You feel me? 2008. Because our courts are corrupt. This is a secret service. See, the Secret Service done been to my house. They done been to my job. They done investigated me, and they got an eye on me. The Secret Service is watching me because I wrote all these letters to President Trump, President Bush, and President Obama. I'm going to keep writing these letters till I get my freedom, just like Dred Scott. I petitioned Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court, and if y'all don't do something about my case, I'm getting ready to go to the Supreme Court, just like Dred Scott. Do blacks have rights in which white America respects? Cardins ain't answer my mail. Cummings ain't answer my mail. Mikulski, Van Hollen. Yeah, if y'all don't answer this mail, that means I go to the Supreme Court with this case. I go to the Supreme Court with this case, a lot of y'all going to jail. That's the White House, 2009. You feel me? You kidnapped me from my house in 2011 because I kept that pressure up. 2009, motion for a public hearing. 1402 Lochner. Frank Conway destroyed all my evidence. Frank Conway destroyed everything. Frank Conway participated in the fraud. His daughter and his son, the ones that's sitting in office in Annapolis, they, they, they witnessed me testifying. And they ain't did nothing. Frank Conway and his daughter and his son. This is Adam May. All right. Right here. I signed that. Right here. Tell WJZ to play the whole two-hour tape. Tell WJZ, Kai Jack, Mary Rubala, Vic Carter to play the whole tape. We're going to talk about the prison industry and we're going to talk about the treatment of inmates in jail. We're going to talk about the abuses of opioids in jail. We're going to talk about the treatment of inmates in the Spring Grove facility and how you're abusing their powers, how you're using them as lab rats, testing pharmaceuticals on them. You using pharmaceuticals on them. Like I said, my paperwork is right. I'm a whistleblower. All right, I'm a whistleblower. Special attention, Alan Locks. See that? That's my ID number. I blew the whistle on the courts. You feel me? 
I blew the whistle on the courts. I blew the whistle on Scott Schellenberger to the Department of Justice. All that. I'm a whistleblower. See, it's received. 2014. I'm a whistleblower. And I'm showing you that the Department of Justice ain't doing shit for us. I'm a whistleblower. Baltimore Sun. I'm a whistleblower. I'm a whistleblower. That's Justin Burt, Christian Schaefer, Roosevelt Leftowitz, Mark Marion, and Richard Scher. All videos, all legal materials. Your station participates in fraud. So when I see you in the streets, I'm going to shut you down. That's Kai Jackson, Karen Parks, and Stephen Janis. All right. This is Dwight Pettit. That's Dwight Pettit. Dwight Pettit participated in the fraud. Dwight Pettit destroyed evidence. When I went out to California in 2014, 2015, I left Dwight Pettit with information. Dwight Pettit destroyed that information. Told me go fuck myself and ain't nothing I could do about it. Fuck you. Whenever I see you, I'm going to disrespect you too. That's Greg Bernstein. See that? Greg Bernstein, Marilyn Mosby, Brian Frost, Doug Gansler, the state prosecutor, David Calabrese. Y'all shielding the corruption and the racism and access in the courts by your offices. And all of y'all are Democrats. That's conspiracy and collusion. Operation Great Lord in Chicago in 1986 dealt with that shit. That's why I'm breaking you down like that. Pollard Towing. Y'all gave Pollard Towing my, my truck and I was incarcerated. I was incarcerated. My truck shouldn't have never left the impound lot. The contents of my truck should have still been in the evidence locker. Y'all thought that y'all was going to lose me in jail and I'd be sent away. No, I won my case. I defended myself and I beat you in court. I was kidnapped by Chief Johnson. I was kidnapped by Chief Johnson in the Baltimore City Police Department. I was kidnapped. And your state prosecutor participated in this. Your state prosecutor participated in this by covering it up and refusing to bring charges against Scott Schellenberger. You feel me? George Nielsen. All right. On February the 2nd, 2011, I turned over all this information to George Nielsen, the city solicitor. On February the 7th, 2011, I was kidnapped by the state. And the evidence that George Nielsen had, he destroyed. George Nielsen participated in the fraud. And now your new city solicitor, Mr. Davis, or whatever his name is, Andre, he doing the same thing. Commissioner Batts, Mayor Stephanie Rollins-Blake, Councilman Brandon Scott, Councilman Branch, and Councilman Coran. 
2008 to 2014. Councilman Scott is participating in this. Me and Scott had a fallout when uh, he was running for office and I went over to that, the Democratic Central Committee or their war room over on Charles Street. He told everybody in the room some lies and whatever and they wanted to fight. We're gonna beat their motherfucking ass. Brandon Scott is a fucking snake. He's O'Malley's henchman. And the Brandon Scott running for mayor, dog, I want all this information out there. When y'all running for mayor 2020, all this shit gonna be out there for whoever running for mayor. All right. Got that? <clears throat> Chief of Criminal Investigation, Internal Revenue Service, case number, Dwayne G. Davis, whistleblower. You feel me? I'm a whistleblower. I need a federal and a state audit. Money count itself. When you count that money, somebody going to jail. Baltimore Sun, Chief Editor, Timothy Ryan. Evidence and knowledge of corruption and abuses of power, publicly elected officials, documentary material. Yeah. That's WJZ. Y'all did the first story on me back in 1986, a hard look. Now you're going to take a hard look at this. You feel me? Take a hard look at this. Y'all didn't give me all the DVDs. Y'all didn't give me all my material. You shielding the corruption under the O'Malley administration. You shielding the corruption in the Democratic Party. All videos, G.G. Barnett, Stan Saunders, Kai Jackson, Mike Shu, Mike Helgram. Media protecting this corruption, and I'm going to break the media down. That's Mike Shu, Gigi Barnett, Stan Saunders, and Adam May from WJZ. Just like that case in England with Rupert Murdoch, when Fox, when he, when Rupert Murdoch got sued, I'm going to sue y'all too. Same way that they sued Rupert Murdoch. I'm going to sue you for a whole lot of money. This is the state's attorney's office. All right. Y'all destroyed evidence. Y'all knowingly destroyed evidence. That's the Maryland Black Caucus. See the email? See the names on the emails? Ed Norris, Mike Shu. See the date of the email? Congress, Melissa Bean, House Delegate John Cardins, Michael Bush. You see that? Michael Bush, Bobby Zirkin, you see that? Now, if y'all had that in 2009, why did y'all lock me up in 2011? Y'all had this. Y'all locked me up in 2011 because y'all wanted to shield the corruption and hide the corruption. Dog, you got to pull up all my emails from DD Shortman at AOL.com. From 2006 to 2010. Then from 2011 on, you got to get all the emails from DD Shortman at AOL at gmail.com. Illinois gave me freedom, all right? Like I say, my paperwork is in order. My paperwork is in order. You use your courts to shield the corruption and the racism. You use your courts to deny black people equal protections under the law. You use your courts to do this. And I'm going to take your courts to court. Checks and balances.
Department of Taxation and Assessments. Y'all charging me on taxes on shit that I don't own. So I want an audit, a federal audit. I was insured. I was insured. And this says file criminal and civil charges, and I did. You robbed a non-profit. You robbed a non-profit. You feel me? See Obama? Randallstown Citizens for Change. You robbed a nonprofit and you locked up a whistleblower. President Obama approved my program. President Obama had a lot to do with this. So like I said, our goal is to lead and push you multi yeah. That's the Randallstown citizens to change. And I blew the whistle on your courts. I blew the whistle in federal court about Governor O'Malley. You feel me? And his crime machine. You feel me? Complaint for fraud, unlawful conversion, breach of fiduciary duty, and declaration of relief. And y'all threw my shit out. Y'all stole from me. And our elected officials know about it. Members of Congress. Because I gave this to the members of Congress. Because part of the Congressman Cummings charge in the Oversight Committee is the prison industry. The grand jury to access the prison industry. And these are the congressmen and elected officials and the members of Congress that know about it because I sent it to y'all. I am Dred Scott. I sent it to y'all. Y'all locked me up for this. Y'all locked me up because I applied for this job. It's been vacant for over 50 years and nobody's standing up for social justice or social change. Jesse Jackson Jr. Al Sharpton, y'all selling out the black community to enrich yourselves in your pockets. Martin didn't do this shit for money. Y'all doing this shit for money. Martin never did nothing he did for money. He did it for change. Not the change you put in your pocket, but the change you can see in the streets. So take these live feeds, take this evidence, and give me justice. Give me due process. Give me equal protections. Charge Scott Schellenberger the same way you charge me. Because if you don't, I'm sending this shit to President Trump. I'm sending this shit to Russia. I'm going to send it to China. Fuck them tampering with the elections. I'm going to show you how you fuck us around. I'm going to show you from the inside out. So do what you do. I'm blowing the whistle. And I want the same protections that y'all giving that white lady in Washington, D.C., I'm blowing the whistle on the Democratic Party and the corruption and the racism in the Democratic Party. I'm blowing the whistle on Congressman Cummings. You got to see me.